China is not only a powerhouse in industry and technology, but also a shining star in agriculture, particularly in quail farming. Every year, China produces approximately 500 million quail, resulting in over 50 billion quail eggs. Remarkably, this accounts for 60% of the world's total quail egg production, an impressive figure that demonstrates the massive scale of this country's production. But how has such a small bird become such an economic powerhouse? The key to this success lies in the combination of advanced technology and sustainable production processes, enabling China to meet the growing demand of both domestic and international markets. We will delve deeper into the factors that have driven this industry's success, from the breeding and care of quail to the processing and packaging of the final product. This journey will not only help you understand the vast industry, but also reveal the positive impact it has on local farmers and the economy. Quail have a special ability. From birth, female quail are programmed to become egg-laying machines throughout their lives. Once quail eggs are laid, they are placed on mechanized conveyor belts to ensure gentle transportation, minimizing the risk of cracking or damage. These eggs continue their journey to become a nutritious source for millions of people. The conveyor system is not only designed to protect the eggs, but also to ensure speed and efficiency. This is the foundation of a modern production process, optimizing costs and guaranteeing high quality eggs. This technology not only reduces human intervention, but also enhances precision at every step of the process. After being collected, quail eggs undergo a thorough inspection to eliminate any cracked or deformed eggs. Only those meeting the standards are placed in modern incubators. These incubators maintain a temperature of about 37.5 degrees Celsius, creating the ideal conditions for embryos to develop and hatch. The incubation process lasts approximately 18 days. During this time, the embryo's development is closely monitored to ensure successful hatching. Advanced machines help control the environment with precision, ensuring that every batch of quail chicks is healthy and ready for the next phase of rearing. Human intervention is minimized thanks to remarkable advancements in incubation technology. Once hatched, quail chicks are sorted by gender using vent inspection. Male and female quail are raised separately in modern cages where they receive meticulous care. To ensure rapid and healthy growth, young quail are fed a special high protein diet, including corn, soybeans, wheat, and other grains. Automatic feeders are installed in rearing cages to provide food regularly, typically three to four times a day. Depending on the stage of development, the amount of food is adjusted to ensure optimal growth. Additionally, providing clean water daily, maintaining cage cleanliness, and monitoring the health of the quail are essential factors in ensuring the flock stays healthy. These foundational practices guarantee that the quail maintain high quality as they enter the egg laying or meat processing phase. Quail farming not only serves domestic consumption, but also plays a crucial role in exports. China purchases about 30 billion quail eggs annually from farmers, ensuring a stable supply for both domestic and international markets. This not only boosts the economy, but also improves the livelihoods of farmers across the country. Quail egg processing plants in China are equipped with the most advanced technology to handle mass production, from cleaning, quality control, to packaging. While many processes are automated, egg selection still requires human intervention to ensure only the highest quality eggs are sent to market. Salted quail eggs are a beloved snack in China. After collection, the eggs go through an automatic washing system to remove dirt, bacteria, and other impurities. Then, they are peeled precisely with modern technology that minimizes damage. Peeled eggs are then immersed in a salt solution for several days to absorb the flavor. After soaking, the eggs are dried to remove moisture, allowing them to be stored longer while maintaining their delicious taste. Chinese people love salted quail eggs, not only for their flavor, but also for their nutritional value. These eggs are packed with protein, minerals, and essential vitamins for good health. In addition to eggs, quail meat is becoming increasingly popular, 
not only domestically, but also in international markets. Quail meat is processed into various products and exported to many countries worldwide. As demand for quail meat increases, companies in China and other countries are heavily investing in production technology to meet market needs. Each year, this industry produces approximately 30,000 tons of quail meat. The rising demand for quail has created significant economic opportunities for producers and contributed to the sustainable development of the agricultural sector. China's quail farming industry is moving toward a sustainable future by combining advanced technology with environmentally friendly solutions. Quail farms are shifting toward renewable energy use, effective waste management, and resource conservation. This not only helps reduce environmental impact, but also creates long-term economic value. With strong investment and continuous innovation, China not only continues to lead the quail farming industry, but also sets a model of sustainable development for other countries to follow. The growth of this industry is not just about production and profit, but is a journey toward building a better future for both people and the environment. Hello, my friends. Today, we will embark on a fascinating and surprising journey as we explore the world of goat farms across the globe. Goats are essential livestock in many agricultural systems, offering tremendous benefits, not only in terms of food, but also for the environment and economy. Goat meat is highly valued for its nutritional content, being rich in protein and lower in fat than other meats. Meanwhile, goat milk has long been recognized for its health benefits, especially for people who are lactose intolerant to cow's milk. Moreover, goats are relatively easy to raise and adapt well to a variety of environmental conditions, from arid mountain regions to lush green fields. Have you ever wondered what makes goats such a popular choice for farmers worldwide? Through this journey, we will explore every aspect of goat farming, from raising baby goats, the production of meat and milk, to how goats help sustain environmental balance. One of the most critical factors determining the success of a goat farm is how baby goats are cared for. When a mother goat is pregnant, she needs to be provided with proper nutrition and a comfortable living environment. After the baby goats are born, they require special attention. Baby goats are usually fed with their mother's milk during the first weeks. In cases where the mother goat does not have enough milk, farmers use special milk replacers designed to meet the nutritional needs of the baby goats. During the first week, baby goats need to be fed every two to three hours, and as they grow, the feeding intervals can be gradually reduced. After around four to six weeks, baby goats begin to eat hay and other coarse feed. This diet helps develop their digestive systems and strengthens their immune systems. Health measures such as vaccinations and regular checkups are essential to ensure the baby goats grow strong and healthy. Goats are raised for many different purposes, which leads to a wide variety of goat farming practices worldwide. In many Western countries like Australia, New Zealand, and the Netherlands, goats are primarily raised for milk production and dairy products, such as cheese and yogurt. The goat dairy industry in these countries is highly developed with modern systems, from milking to processing dairy products. In contrast, in many Asian countries such as China, India, and Pakistan, goats are mainly raised for meat. Goat meat is a staple food in these regions, particularly during large festivals. Goat meat is not only nutritious, but also has a distinctive flavor that many people enjoy. Furthermore, goats can also be raised for wool and hides. In mountainous regions such as Mongolia and Tibet, cashmere goats are raised for their luxurious wool, which is a key material for making high-quality cashmere garments. This demonstrates the versatility of goats in different economies and cultures. One of the primary reasons goats are so popular in farming is their ability to thrive in diverse habitats. Their grazing habits help control weeds and clear fields, a vital factor in maintaining healthy pastures and fertile soils. This is especially crucial in sustainable agricultural systems, where maintaining soil health can boost productivity for decades. You might have heard about small family goat farms in rural areas where households raise goats, not only to provide meat and milk for their families, but also to sell to the market. This not only increases household income, but also promotes rural economic development. 
For example, in Taiwan, many small family farms are raising hundreds of goats to meet the domestic demand for goat meat and milk. This model is not only economically successful, but also preserves traditional agricultural values in the face of modern development. Raising goats for meat is not only a traditional practice, but a highly valuable economic activity in many parts of the world. The demand for goat meat is particularly high in countries such as China, India, Pakistan, and across the Middle East and Africa. In these regions, goat meat is a staple in the diet and is deeply embedded in cultural and religious practices, especially during holidays and celebrations like Eid al-Adha. It's no surprise that goat meat farming has become a thriving business, not just for large farms, but for small-scale family farms as well. The process of raising goats for meat requires a well-planned and efficient approach. The goal for meat farmers is to ensure that their goats reach the optimal weight for processing as quickly as possible without compromising the animal's health. A typical meat goat will be raised for about six months, by which time it will weigh between 35 and 40 kilograms. To achieve this growth rate, farmers must carefully manage the goat's diet, providing them with nutrient-rich feed, including grasses, grains, and hay, which ensures they get the proper vitamins and minerals. In many modern farms, feeding systems are automated, helping farmers regulate the quantity and quality of food, allowing for optimal weight gain and overall health. Once the goats are ready for slaughter, the process is carried out following strict hygiene and ethical standards. One common method is the halal process, which is widely practiced in Muslim-majority countries and ensures the meat is prepared according to religious guidelines. The process involves humanely slaughtering the animal and draining the blood to ensure the meat is clean and safe for consumption. After the initial preparation, the goat is cleaned thoroughly and its internal organs are removed. The meat is then processed in various ways to cater to different market demands. Many farms and factories focus on two primary products, frozen whole goats and sliced packaged meat. Frozen goats are popular in international trade, especially in Middle Eastern markets, where fresh goat meat might not always be available. Sliced and packaged goat meat, on the other hand, caters to supermarkets and retail chains, making it easier for consumers to buy and prepare at home. The packaging process also includes labeling for nutritional content and cooking instructions, providing consumers with information on how best to prepare their goat meat for maximum flavor and tenderness. In some regions, specific cuts of goat meat, like legs or ribs, are particularly popular and are sold separately. Goat legs, for example, are often used for slow-cooked dishes and are prized for their tenderness and rich flavor. Other byproducts, such as the internal organs, are also utilized, either sold as delicacies or used in making pet food and other products. The comprehensive use of the entire goat ensures minimal waste, making goat farming not only a profitable, but also an environmentally sustainable practice. Goat milk is an excellent source of nutrition, especially for people who are lactose intolerant each goat can produce between 1.5 to 3 liters of milk daily, depending on the breed and diet. In modern farms, the process of milking is carried out using automated systems. One common example is the rotary milking system, where goats stand on a rotating platform and are milked as the platform moves around. This automated system helps optimize productivity and reduce labor for farmers. Once the milk is collected, it is transported to the processing plant within 24 hours to ensure its freshness. Goat cheese has long been considered a luxurious and nutritious food. The cheese making process begins by heating goat milk to around 30 to 32 degrees Celsius, then adding rennet, an enzyme that helps curdle the milk. Once the milk curdles, it is cut and stirred to release more whey. The remaining curds are poured into molds to shape. The aging process is also crucial in creating the unique flavor and texture of each type of cheese. Cheese is usually aged in cool, humid cellars at around 13 degrees Celsius. The aging period can range from several weeks to several months, depending on the type of cheese and the desired flavor. Our journey today has taken us through many fascinating aspects of goat farming, from caring for baby goats to the production of delicious cheese. 
At each stage, we have witnessed the dedication and effort of farmers to deliver high-quality goat products. By supporting local farms and sustainable agriculture, you are helping to preserve traditional farming practices while contributing to the environment. Thank you for joining me today, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our future adventures.